All right, so we're going to take a look at the new dev blog for the new unique upgrade for the Vermont and Columbo. So let's take a look at that. So in 13.3, uh, they'll be commencing testing of the two new unique upgrades for the Vermont and the Columbo. The two test ships are going to be the Utah and the Vesp of uh, the Belushi, a uh, clone of the Columbo. So pretty much the slots are going to be removed from the Utah and the um, the Vibushi due to these are these are the slots where these upgrades are going to be going. So for the Vermont, the unique upgrade will be in slot five, and for slot six is going to be where it's going to be for the Colombo. So if anybody to try and reference that for the Vermont, and by the way, thirteen point three is going to be patched in April. So this testing for these will be going in effect in April. For the Vermont, the new up, unique upgrade is going to be the main battery reload time is reduced by 8%. The continuous AA damage is increased by 15%, and the ASW airstrike reload is reduced by 15%. Now, we were talking about this earlier, where in slot 5 for... If you guys don't know for slot 5... Currently, everyone takes the concealment pretty much due to the fact that you don't get just a concealment upgrade. You get a dispersion nerf to the enemy so that the dispersion is 5% worse when shells are coming in at you. So pretty much how the Vermont upgrade works, you get about a 3.2 second reload buff on your guns. About a 3.2 seconds, so the reload base is 40. 8% of that is 3.2. So your, your your new reload will be 36.8 seconds uh, for the reload. You get 15% better anti-air and 15% faster reload for your ASW planes. I personally feel like this upgrade is amazing for randoms and for ranked because of how subs are in ranked. But for clan battles... That 5% dispersion nerf to the enemy shells is very critical for how much focus fire battleships normally take in clan battles, especially from other battleships. That 5% could make a huge difference in how much damage they take potentially in clan battles. But for randoms, I think this could be really good. I think I think it could do really well, but for randoms, bat. I don't think it's the greatest for clan battles, but for randoms, you get better anti-air, which is awesome because this thing already has insanely good anti-air. You get faster reeling in ASW, so if you're being hounded by a sub, it's easier for you to hit them, and you have a eight percent better reload, so you can just start farming, farming away. So a lot of time in in randoms anyway, you're staying long distance anyway. You're not really moving it in. So you just farm away. Like, the closest you'll get is probably 13 kilometers normally. 13, 12, and you start moving in. So I think this upgrade's amazing for randoms, random and ranked players. But if you're trying to bring a Vermont into ranked, it's not going to go very well with the unique upgrade. That's just my thoughts for the Vermont upgrade in particular. Now, for the Columbo, the sixth slot is being um, is where this unique upgrade is going to be going. Uh, for the sixth slot, they're having it where the main battery shell dispersion is going to be reduced by 6%. And the main battery reload time is reduced by 6%. So overall, you will have faster firing guns and more accurate guns. Now... In the Columbo, the basic build right now for Columbo, if I can find the dang thing, uh, a lot of people just take reload. They don't take range, they take reload. Because the shells, we all know the Columbo, at longer distances, these shells just go everywhere. So a lot of people will take reload and they won't take range. So a lot of this, for, so this unique upgrade in the sixth slot is actually amazing and it's super, super good. Because for the Columbo, the, the reload, is you get 12% better reload and a 13% worse to turret traverse. So now, you have the choice between a 12% reload boost with a worse turret traverse, or you get a 
six percent uh reload boost and a six percent better dispersion and nine out of ten times everyone wants the battle better shell dispersion six six percent may not seem a lot for dispersion but it really is six percent boost to your dispersion is awesome that is really really good so for the Columbo, this upgrade, you'll probably see more Columbos as long as, and of course, this is this is all in testing, and we don't know if these stats are final for what they're doing. But even with the way these stats are looking for the Columbo's unique upgrade, I, I bet you you're going to see more Columbos being played. Because Columbos already are really, they already have a really good DPM. And there's already really good players that play the Columbo and randoms are ranked and they do insanely well with it just from the raw DPM of the sap and from the guns. For so for the unique upgrade for Columbo, I think it's actually amazing. I think it's really, really good. And I think it's definitely worth it in all fronts. While the Vermont isn't like I think personally the Vermont is more mid. It's not as good as the Columbo. The Columbo's is more of a straight up buff to the ship, while the Vermont is more of a like yeah you're, you're gonna it's it, you're sacrificing concealment. And you're sacrificing having a five percent worse worse dispersion on you by taking this over over the concealment the concealment uh, upgrade. So overall, for these unique upgrades for be going and testing thirteen point three, I would definitely say that out of the two, I'm more of a fan of the Columbos. The Vermont, I'm not as big of a fan. I still will probably use the Vermont one in random because I think it's fun. I'm definitely going to get the Columbo one 100%. But overall, Columbo one is a much needed, necessary, unique upgrade. I'm very happy that they did a really good one for the, for the Columbo. The Vermont... Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that one goes. We'll see. I still like it, but not as much as Columbo's. But I know, dude, the Utah is going to be in the game. Crazy, man. Crazy, dude. Yeah, it's the it's the clone ship of the Vermont. It's going to be called Utah. And the um, Marigold Vespa, she is the clone ship of Colombo. But now, uh, that's going to be If you guys have any questions or concerns, let me know in the comments down below. But thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you all later.